I wanna talk a little bit about debt and good debt versus bad debt. But first, Celeste, you had somebody write in and ask a question and bring up the fact that managing debt through having or how you manage credit cards. So I wanna, I wanna hear from you and what your experience is in terms of how you handle that, what you do, what your approach is to that. I have three savings accounts okay. and that's where I separate all of my money. Okay. And then in college, I was actually taught by um, a professor and he was like, why pay for it now when you can pay for it later? And if you do the correct timing, you don't have to pay it off maybe three months in advance. So I was like, okay, I'll do that. Okay. So I split everything into two and I just take that set amount and put it away. And then I act as my credit card is like a debit card. So mm -hmm. I'll never go above a certain amount, even what the credit line is, I ignore that. And I pay it off and I pride myself that I've never paid interest on any of my credit cards. That's incredible. And um, I try to just help friends out because that's the way you start, you know? Yeah, and so you'll give your friends this advice, like guys, do not go into debt, credit card debt. Right. Yeah. I never touch my debit card. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I have stopped using a debit card a long time ago. I use only a credit card and I do it the same way as you. My dad taught me that debt was the devil. But there's some debt that's good debt, right? Stephanie, I'm curious, can you touch on that a little bit? Because obviously sure. credit so card debt is bad. Credit card debt we think is bad. You're buying things for the short term. However, what's good about the way you guys are doing it, you're building your credit. And credit is so important in this country. You have to have credit to get any type of debt. And you don't want bad credit. Because you're paying high interest rates. You're paying high interest rates. Okay. Bad credit would mean you're not paying your, your credit card got on it. time. Got it, And so you start building up kind of like a reputation mm. and a bad reputation. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you're, you're paying things on time. You know, a good way to build that is what you guys are doing. It shows that you're financially healthy and it'll open up your, your options, whether you're applying for a job or you're applying for good debt, mortgages, for example, you're borrowing money and you're putting it towards a home or an asset, that's positive. That asset appreciates over time, then you own it and you're just supplementing and you're paying some interest every month. That's okay, we consider that good debt. 